Hello and welcome to a brand new Unsourced World update. I'm going to be talking about some brand new Munsters movie news that just came out today. Um, and there's quite a bit. And some of it's really interesting and some of it's really fascinating. Uh, the first of which, well, obviously, we have a brand new Munsters trailer. Now, this is for the DVD Blu-ray digital release. Because, as we mentioned before, uh, the Munsters movie from Rob Zombie was produced by Universal's directive video production company Universal uh, 1440 uh, that has done a bunch of like really sort of like off the shelf, off the rack, uh, direct to video schlock, like, I don't know, Baby Genesis 5 or something like that. So we get to specifically about that so that people know that they can also buy it, you know, physically. Um, and it's kind of like the same uh, as the first trailer. We do get a bunch of new shots here. Like you see um, this fun little gag of grandpa. Uh, a full look at the of the uh, actual cover art for the movie. Um, it looks great. Um, Rob Zombie has said there's going to be um, a making of documentary, which I think is really fun. I think that uh, people are already well known about his Halloween make uh, making of documentaries for his uh, Michael Myers films. Uh, and now those have become like really sort of famous for how in depth they go. So hopefully we get a lot of back uh, behind the scenes tidbits on this film. I want to see what his thought processes were on a bunch of decisions. Uh, there's a lot of fun stuff in this trailer. A lot of fun new shots. Um, some gags determined that I think uh, really work. Uh, it makes it feel more lively, uh, which I really appreciate. Um, and I do think the color grading is a little bit better as well. Uh, it's still very over-exaggerated, but it does look a little bit less flat than the first trailer. And apparently this movie has only had like uh, two weeks of post-production so far. So that first trailer was probably really rushed out the gate. Um, but apparently uh, this movie is coming out uh, in physical media uh, on September 27th. Uh, so that, that's really fun. And I, I, knowing that, uh, I'm definitely going to buy it. Now, one big piece of news that came out as well was the fact that this movie is now going direct to Netflix. And so that got a lot of people wondering, uh, well, it's a Universal movie and it's a Universal uh, direct-to-video movie. So shouldn't those like go to the Universal streaming service Peacock? Um, so people were wondering like, okay, maybe that's because Universal has no faith in the movie and maybe uh, they're trying to uh, get this like uh, shoved out as quickly as possible and try and recoup any loss that they might have, that kind of thing. Uh, well, there's been a bunch of rumors flying around and Rob Zombie himself took to social media to debunk a couple of them. So he released this big statement, and we're going to look at it right now. All right. So, uh, well, I got to say, I really love the passion here as well. Like, uh, so there's been this big rumor, as he references, that the monster movie costs like $40 million. And people are like, where is that money on the screen? Um, and, you know, he, well, there is a bunch of money being put into production, even if, you know, it's not as much as it should be. I think that the life-size replica of the original Munster's home as it looked exactly on the show probably cost a pretty penny but the number 40 million has been floating around and Rob Zombie has said that it's not even a fraction of 40 million um, and so people have uh, actually done the math um, between like Halloween 2, Lord of Salem, 31, 3 from Hell how much those budgets were um, and how Rob has said that even all that combined with monsters wouldn't add up to 30 million to say that the most monsters could be would be between 5 million to like 8 million. And so we're going to lowball it. We're going to say it's about like 5 million because uh, that's what I believe that they would probably get Rob Zombie for a monster movie that they're already selling off to Netflix. Uh, but Rob has also said that the original contracts uh, for the monster movie uh, as it was being made. Um, for just being greenlit at least, uh, was always going to be a Netflix film, uh, which is interesting. Um, I, again, that's probably all on Universal's part that they want to get this you know, out there as quickly as possible. They want to get as much money as they can as quickly as possible from it. But it is nice to know that they didn't like see the daily rushes go like, okay, we got we to gotta offload this as quickly as possible, you know? Um, so, you know, all the best to that. And it being like a Netflix original, you know, as Netflix originals can be, you know, with Netflix really just buying up content and just slapping the label on it, it means that, well, 
I'm a little bit more excited to watch it on Netflix as well. Like uh, when it was like, oh, it's going to Netflix, that made me a little bit worried because of you know all that baggage of like, oh, it's being you know just sidled onto there. Uh, but if this was always the plan and Netflix was always going to get this film, actually watching on Netflix and getting those numbers up could actually mean something. They could actually add up to something. Uh, so that really has me. I'm really excited to watch it there. I'm so glad that we have a, finally a release date. We we have like confirmation that the the physical copy is in the works. We have a uh, first look at the behind the scenes stuff, and just you know having this sort of um, confirmation about a couple of things that are up in the air. And you know I'm really glad about that. I'm definitely gonna be pre-ordering uh, the physical copy uh, when it comes up for pre-order. I've searched. It's not on Amazon, not on Best Buy, not on Target, not on Walmart. Uh, it's still coming out like uh, two months. So hopefully it's pre-order somewhere or else I'm going to have to go scrounging at those stores for it. And hopefully it doesn't come to that. But I'm definitely going to buy it physically and watch it on Netflix, get those number ups. And who knows if Netflix was willing to get this for Universal to begin with, hopes for a sequel might not be out of the question. And like I said, that new trailer, um, even though it's just like a short little trailer to announce the physical copy, still got a little bit of chuckles out of me. I think that the actor for Herman is doing a really great job. The actor for Grandpa, Daniel Roebuck, is doing a really great job. And it just looks like a lot of fun. So fingers crossed that it turns out to be good and worthwhile and that it all comes out in the end. Anyway, thank you so much for listening. Uh, let me know what you think below. Uh, do you think that the physical copy is going to be worth it for the physical features? Are you excited that you know it's not being shuffled off? Does the new trailer for the physical edition you know, lessen your worries, hiding your worries. Uh, and, you know, don't forget to like and subscribe as well. Uh, see you again next time and hope you have a great day.